fun little tool I use, a little hook for the line. Put that clasp back on and just slide the corn or however much you want on there. I try and load it up. And I just toss it nice and light. So by the time the fish gets it down his throat, mm -hmm. he's already right there at the end. He's already committed Man. for the most part. I'd say my hookup ratio is about 60 to 70%. What is good? What is good, all my real ones? Welcome back to another episode of It Gets Real. It's your boy, B, the Flossy Fisherman. And today, we are headed to Los Gatos, California. Yes, I'm actually going to Persona Park and Lake. And um, I'm meeting up with Steve, a uh, fish master blast. He has a YouTube, but um, that's what he goes by on Instagram. He hit me up last night and let me know that uh, he was gifted some um, fresh tuna and he's smoking them. So he wanted to um, extend the invitation, man, and uh, put my taste buds to the test to try some of this um, smoked tuna versus smoked salmon because he made some smoked salmon as well. And uh, we're going to get out here and possibly do some fishing for some bass with some carp. Y'all keep it locked while I go on this mission. Woke up in the morning around 6 o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shop. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on worms, took some weight. Pull up to the lake trying to find a spot. This brain said they biting by the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. Yes, for those who aren't familiar with Persona Lake and Park, um, this is usually around where Christmas time they have the Christmas in the park and you drive through and um, they have all kind of decorations. Pretty fun, family oriented thing to do, man, around Christmas. I think I'm gonna have to call Steve pretty soon and see exactly where he's at but if I can guess it'd be close to the water now I got some parts of the taste test but um, that was towards the end not the beginning like when I greeted him and everybody else fishing failure fishing 24 7 fisherman Q um, Phil from fish and fiddle um yeah i missed the whole greeting and then me tasting the bluefin tuna the smoked albacore tuna um yeah i missed all that just because gopro want to have some problems albacore. albacore too dry okay this is better okay yeah. hey you know what actually why don't you guys read off what you guys like can i go first go first because <laughs> yeah you got to get out of here all right so i got i got uh salmon as my number one because i <laughs> Same here. I still love salmon. Yeah, wow, love salmon. that was that was a yeah, tough nothing one, but it. Nothing that's that's it. what I got. And I actually put number two for the the one that you the store bought because I ate that for a couple days straight. I didn't eat this one because so you I, got you really got used yeah, to the I'm taste. Going, yeah, I, I I'm going. Yeah, I gave him, I gave him some. Yeah. I'll disclose. He, uh, yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. Of okay, he gave he he was my supplier for the bluefin. Uh, okay. And I reached out to him. He didn't reach out. He didn't even know my name. He's like, who are you? <laughs> I'm just a little measly guy, you know. No, I just no, fish no, on no, the side. No. So no, really awesome. I, I got to thank him for the blue fin. Oh, no, no didn't problem. want to blow him up on that one, but um, so yeah. So it's just I'm just gonna discard my uh, this one for now because I'm basing it off what you gave me from okay. a couple days. Okay, but, okay, cool. So my my second one would be bluefin, and then albacore is my last. Yeah, that's, okay. what I, that's, that's what, pretty much what I got. That's what I got. Damn, really? Okay. And, and do you want the the, the worst part? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna like it, but I like this. I like this better than that. You know, I just, I just threw this together last night. I didn't use any proportional recipes. No excuses. No excuses. I'm a cook too. I'm a cook too. No excuses. This one I really didn't like. The yeah. You really uh, didn't like? No. Nah. No, that's. 
no. for, for well, me as well. What, so what was it about it that you didn't like? It's like dry, it yeah. has a weird yeah. texture. Okay, all right. Yeah. It's so salty. I thought the albacore was second best for me. And then the bluefin was a little more tough. Okay. And yeah. yeah, the bluefin I did overcook. So yeah, and that, that might bad. be part of it. Yeah. yeah. And then I like this one better. And, and then store and the store okay. 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 It's just got more like chunks and more. I like it's the spicy. It's got a lot of texture to it. And it's yeah. Just, yeah. Look at it. It's like super chunky. I guess my All right, Anthony. Uh, I thought the um, the bluefin was the best. All right. It's like uh -huh. uh, and then I wrecked the uh, albacore is the second one, salmon, and then the store bought one. The okay. Last. So All like, right. Um, cool. I've never had bluefin or albacore like, smoked ever, but like um, the flavor really stood out to me compared to the salmon and the store bought one. Like okay. um, yeah, for the um, I thought the um, the bluefin and albacore, like at first I just tasted the um, the marinade, which is like okay, but then there was like the aftertaste of the yeah, the, um, the, the bluefin. Yeah. Oh man, mm, that was yeah. good, man. My wife, me, and my son, we tried it um, seared, and then we tried it fully cooked. Right. I'll tell you right, the, the, it's always awesome raw. Like if, if you appreciate, if you can appreciate the true flavor, raw is awesome. But seared was my favorite. Seared, mm. I believe, was my wife's favorite too. Like she didn't even, actually, she didn't even care for it um, until without the rice and stuff, just eating the raw oh. fish. Yeah. Until, uh, or without ginger. <laughs> but when she tried the seared, she was like, oh yeah, that's good. Cause yeah. you just have that nice, you know, cooked layer, and then you get to taste all the flavor from the middle that's wow. semi raw, you know? Yeah. Seared all the way. But I actually like, I like the bluefin um, for like raw and seared. And then I like the albacore as far as the smoked goes. Cause to me it took, I, I like, I'm a, I, I got a sweet tooth. And to all me right. the albacore was really sweet. That was the sweetest. Even though the bluefin is awesome in its own right, you know? Yeah. I have no idea what the value of bluefin is, but I, it's, it's, it's desired like everywhere in the world, right? Like yeah, it's, it's yeah. a prized fish to get. But I was glad to know that albacore was so good. Oh, mm -hmm. it's delicious. I didn't oh, know it was yeah, that no, good because we can go up north, right? Yeah, a couple hours up north and catch albacore. Mm, yeah. And and we how did. what's the limit on albacore? Uh, Fifteen, I think. Wow. Fifteen yeah. albacore. Yeah, wow. Are you are you to be uh, 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 no limit. Unlimited. Yeah. What? Right. Uh, and then Jeez. about ten years ago they changed it to like twenty uh, and now fifteen. Yeah. But still, even that's one crazy is like, ridiculous. You got two. Of fish. That's good enough. Yeah. yeah. Nice. What are you gonna feed you? Chop yeah. it up for your dog and your horse and <laughs> I prefer like uh, uh, sashimi uh, albacore oh, than, so than this. Sashimi albacore. Yeah. Okay. But I prefer all the small. I, I don't want any man or anything on there. It's just yeah, raw yeah. fish. Just the you pure taste, flavor. You can taste yeah. The, the fish. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> First to let it out. Four seven. Oh, yeah. From nice. the lighting seeker, something special. You can either have like the ones that pop on and off, but this is just a hair rig that you can tie here. Okay. You can change the length of how much corn you want to sit, and you always do that little loop. Fun little tool I use. Little hook for the line. Put that clasp back on and just slide the corn or however much you want on there. I try and load it up. And I just toss it nice and light. So by the time the fish gets it down his throat, mm -hmm. he's already right there at the end. He's already committed Man. for the most part. I'd say my hookup ratio is about 60 to 70%. Um, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Carp are also the smartest freshwater fish. So. We'll see. But they've right. already kind of popped up everywhere and I've got two out and we'll see if we can find more. So is that jello that you have on the corner? Yes sir. Yeah. Alright. And again, so the reason for the jello is because I believe it stays on the corn a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And when you pop it out, it lets a little bit of scent out more uh, more slow, uh, a little bit slower, but you have uh, all that scent that's attached to the corn versus like having a liquid that as soon as it hits the water, most of it's gone. Um, so at least this way, it's kind of like a slow time release. But of course, yeah, hot water, slower release. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, but now I just kind of set it up to where it's not going to go flying on me like it did once before. And I always have a, a version of a strike indicator, which I usually use a big bother. Oh, mm -hmm. Robert, there's a carp out there in the middle. And uh, he'll be coming. I'm just letting him call his friends first. And I've also noticed that carp don't really hit a little bit. It's just they run. There, there's no yep. warning. It's just they're gone. Grab and go. Grab and go. Look splashing down there. Making their way. Yeah. It's 
see down there, there's a bunch of little bluegill. I got my box of mini jigs right here. Had a good strike. Some of these strikes are pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man the dink fest continues yeah, we got, got another got youtuber right here <laughs> fisherman q fishing in flip flops right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're here they're around yeah but they're around but not biting yeah a lot of carp koi's out there swimming around but they're not biting the only thing that's giving us some action right now is these little bass i have a little guy yep. <laughs> oh this stuff's too funny dink lives matter don't go for it duck it's not for you. Another dinkster on the line. Tony, you still haven't landed me a call. He got off. Still no bites over here for myself. Uh, maybe I should have moved where Josh went. Because he landed him a pretty decent carp over there. Let's see. What did he get here? Woo! Big boy. Nope. All right, walk him back while holding his leg. All right, go for it. Get him head first. No. Hey, we can just walk him to the left. Head first, head first. Bring him back, bring him back. Boom. Scoop him, scoop him. Scoop it, there you go. There you go. I'm gonna pull you back, right? Woo! water. I don't want carpenter. You guys missed the bath I got. Yeah? Yeah. A little dink compared to this. <laughs> there you go. That's where I'm not flipping y'all. Nice catch, man. I have got no action over here. I mean, we've seen that koi fish. I have seen carp swimming around in here, but no takers for what I got out there. Oh, jump, man, jump, man. Doing a little gymnastics for us. Oh, but he's in the brush. He's in the brush. No, no, no. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get out of here. Come on, dude. Is he off? No, he's still on. There we go. Woo. Dink lives matter. Okay, someday you'll grow up to be like a five pounder. Double digit, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nice little colors and spots on them. Get bigger. Thank cool, you, man. man. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming out, bro. Man, man nice. thank you for having me, man. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing Absolutely, me out. Man. Shout out to Steve, Fish Master Blaster. Yep, for inviting me to put my taste buds to the test, man. And, uh, you know, see which one out of all the fish that we have tried, all the smoked fish, which was the best. And like I said, man, that, uh, that salmon, whoo, something else, nothing else like it. 
but also for my first time trying bluefin i can give that a thumbs up as well the fishing was kind of rough dink fest but hey man dink lights matter as i said before you know never mad at catching a dink i mean at least that is not a skunk uh but yeah met a lot of cool people today um youtubers that i've never met before uh so you know maybe some collaborations in the future with some of these guys um but yeah i will leave all the links to their channels in the description so you guys can give them a follow and subscribe don't forget to hop online to itgetsreal.com and purchase some of this merch you see yeah i'm camoed out today you know with the polo embroidered yeah man but we have the face mask we got all the gear that you need man don't forget to follow me on instagram at it gets real fishing and on facebook at it gets real fishing till the next one though y'all be cool y'all be blessed peace <laughs> dink oh no dink oh, fest no, no. oh no oh, i think his dink is bigger than my dink <laughs> <laughs> oh, bunch of dinks.